Hi! Hi everyone! Have you been wondering on how to write a Dubai CV? Wonder no more because I'm here to give you the solution. I'm here to give you the tips on how to write a CV using the Dubai format. When I came here uh, from my country on a visit visa, I was using my old format, but guess what? I wasn't called for interviews not until I met one lady one recruiter and I was like mom look here I have a bachelor's degree in uh, social science and I have experience from my country uh, and I see my CV is okay so what's the problem so this lady wasn't so bad it wasn't bad to me she said okay let me have a look at your CV and I'll guide you on what to do. Guess what? The time she touched my CV and guided me through and gave me several tips and gave me a, a simple format, that's the time I started receiving calls for interviews. So today I uh, decided to share with everybody about those tips, about the um, uh, CV layout, and then I guess it will answer some of your questions because some people have been writing to me, Joy, please, since your channel is all about the job, uh, you know, the job tips and so on, please help us and give us the tips. So I was like, mm, I shouldn't be selfish. I should share with everybody about the CV, CV, CV tips and the CV format. First of all, you need to know the purpose of your CV. Why are you writing? Why are you making that particular CV? There are a number of uh, key points that you need to note. There are only four key points. So before you start your CV, the number one point is you need to read through the job description, which has been uh, advertised by any company. You need to pay attention to the key elements and to the key words which they have used in that job advert. You know why? Because here in Dubai, the when the CVs are sent online, it's they, they are uh, they, they have a system which is called uh, applicant tracking system. So this tracking system scans through the CV the, the CVs that have been. Uh, sent and then it picks out which particular CV um, has those key words which were used in the advert. You get my point. So the third one, you need to understand the type of business that particular company is dealing in or organization or um, factory that has made an advert. You need to know. Then the fourth and last one is to identify the relevant experiences and skills that you possess. So now we are going to our CV format. So, the, so now back to our CV. So the first one is the style and layout of our CV. Okay you need to use simple fonts that is uh, Arial or uh, New Times Roman should be black and white with a white background then number three avoid logos avoid graphics avoid designs <laughs> in the CV then the last one is make your CV concise and brief because nobody, nobody has time to read all your seven pages, all your six pages of, uh, you know, experience and so on. Just if you can make one uh, page, wow, that's nice. If you can make two pages, okay, but don't make more than two pages. No, it's not called for just make make it brief and precise first after all these people are gonna call you for an interview 
to you know to so that you can tell them more about you so now after all that we need to start writing our CV one the name and the contact details you need to write your names up as I'll show you here you need to write the name up and then the number then your email address make sure the email address is um, is is a good one like you don't need to bring uh, those email addresses that you were using before when you were still young maybe in high school in you know those funny funny email addresses just use a nice email address you can even use your names with uh, at yahoo.com or at, at gmail.com and then in the corner according to Dubai format they need a small picture in the corner of that CV professional profile where people always write objective my objective is my objective is these people already know you're copying and pasting because almost people write about my objective is my objective is but no okay you just have to write your professional profile where there is my objective you just have to write who you are who you are what you have been doing and what you're gonna do for this particular company then the third one you need to write the key the key skills the key skills you can write like five points okay five points your like main key skills for example maybe you you you've you were uh, working in a certain company and your, your job was a sales uh, personnel and then you had to you can you can write and say i i possess negotiating skills i managed to negotiate for a former company and i closed a deal of two million and then you need to give proof number four let's go to the work work experience experience what did you do in your former uh, place of work you need to write what you were doing and what you managed to achieve there in uh, your former place the last one we can write uh, we can put education education you can tell them about uh, the, of course if you ended in high school you need to tell them if you ended in uh, if you stopped in the university you need to write it there those extras like if you have a driving license for example if your job uh, requires a li driving license or you'll be traveling um, for example, if you're a merchandiser, you need a car, and so you can write if you have a license or you have experience in that. About the CV writing, hope you've learned something. Um, if you follow those simple steps, make your CV very, very simple because nobody has the time to read, the, to see the graphics and the photo and the, uh, logos and everything. Just make it very, very simple, very simple, and then. I wish you all the best in your CV writing. I wish you all the best in your CV writing. If you have any questions, you can write them down below. By the way, those ones who haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. And don't forget to share and also to uh, click the bell button so that you don't miss the next, next video. My name is Joy. Until next time, I have to sign out.